what's up pre-pt fam hope you all had a very happy holidays uh, welcome back to the 2.4 pre-pt channel today we're going to be talking about my first term in physical therapy school but first for those of you who are new to the channel my name is ben kim i'm a pre-pt coach and i'm currently a student at the university of saint augustine san marcos and on this channel i hope pre-pts accomplish their vision as well as give you guys a look into my journey as a pre-pt and if any of that sounds interesting make sure to hit subscribe down below so you can stay up to date with the latest content and if you like this video and found it helpful please smash that like button as it does help out a lot anyways on to the video all right everybody so at the time of recording this we're about a week after new year's and so you know during the holidays uh i, I got to see a lot of family and all that and a lot of them we're asking a lot of questions about PT school and I was noticing a bunch of recurring questions. So I thought a good way to maybe go about this video is just to kind of list some of the common questions I got from either family and friends or from some pre-PT peers. And so let's, let's do it that way. And we'll start with the first question. First question is, how do you feel being done with your first term? Man, um, I think I feel two feelings on completely opposite spectrums. So my first feeling, I just remember it's like after GA, gross anatomy is uh, probably our is, it is our toughest class of the this, of this semester. And when that was done, I just felt like all the weight that was on my shoulders for most of this term was just lifted. And you know, it's, it's already so close to the holidays, it, it almost just feels like Christmas. Uh, I, I really don't know how else to describe that feeling. Um, and on the other side of the spectrum, I was actually really disappointed in myself with how I uh, how I let myself be during the semester. And, and we'll talk about that more in a later question. Um, and so for the second question, how does how's the curriculum and community? OK, um, so at St. Augustine, the classes are mostly hybrid. So what does that really mean? It means. Um, there's an online portion and then you have your in-class lecture portion. Now, for some classes, it's very in-class heavy. And for some classes, it's very online heavy. Um, and and that's nice. Like, I like having the hybrid program because um, we technically had seven classes in our first term. But I'd say about maybe three of those classes, um, we didn't have to show up for every week. And that's really nice because, you know, uh, it's, it's more study time for yourself, more time to do whatever you need to do. Uh, so really just showing up for maybe four classes a week consistently. And so that's really nice. Um, also, it's really nice to have a bunch of online resources available to you that you can study off of. Um, for example, one of the classes was Applied Anatomy, where we're learning how to like do test range of motion, muscle strength, uh, muscle length, all that stuff. And so to have those videos online as well to watch at our convenience is uh, very helpful because sometimes you just need to watch things over and over and just seeing it that one time in class or just seeing a frozen like picture in a book doesn't always cut it. And so it's nice to see like an instructor go through the th uh, motions and explain what they're doing. And so that's really helpful. At St. Augustine, they also have remote days. And so remote days is the day that you have dedicated your, technically dedicated your online studies uh, but really you can study whatever you want. Basically, you don't, it's, it's a day where you have no uh, class at the school. The real reason is because they kind of want to free up some parking spaces. But at the same time, it's really nice for us as students because we get to just have a day off and study. Um, and so that's another nice plus. It's, it really helps you be able to study everything that you learned that week and get caught up and take into next week. So I, I love that. <clears throat> Next, uh, uh, I got asked about the community as well. And so I, I really liked our cohort and our professors. They were always very open, very helpful, and supportive as well. And I'll get more into the supportive part in a little bit. But um, yeah, we do things together. Like we'll, we'll play basketball every Friday. Uh, a, a bunch of us will, not everyone, because not everyone plays ball. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll play basketball over the, on Fridays. Uh, you know, and we'll have smaller groups and we'll go out and eat, um, study together, those kind of things. So it, it was good. And then how was your first term of physical therapy school? Now this, we're going to get a little deep in. For me personally, it was a roller coaster. I started off extremely well. Um, 
it's like one of the hardest classes it was gross anatomy like i said earlier killed it um so like this term i've had the highest of highs lowest of lows surprisingly my lowest of lows was also in gross anatomy and so um i was, I was doing really well in lecture exams lab exams i didn't really do as well i got like 260 percent which is terrible. In this class, lecture and lab is combined. And it led to the point where I was actually really scared that I wasn't even gonna pass this class at one point. It was right after our second lab exam. And lab exams were with about 40, let's say 45%, lecture exams were 55%. At that point, we only had one lecture exam, two lab exams. And I wanna say after those two 60%, I was probably sitting just below a C. I was at like maybe 69%. And the following week, we had a lecture exam for that class. It was the brachial plexus exam, which is gonna be the most dense thing you're gonna cover in gross anatomy, your first term. And so I was really worried because leading up to that, I barely knew anything about it. I could draw the skeleton of it, that's about it. And I was very worried because let me give you some backstory. Before that, in October, we had Hell Month. And I think the final two weeks of October, and then after that, we had a one week with no exams and maybe another week with like one exam or something. So it went really easy, but um, I got pretty burnt out after October because of the help month. And then I didn't give myself the time to catch up on the one class that really didn't have an exam that month. And that was gross anatomy. That's the toughest class, you know? And I fell behind like eight lectures. <clears throat> I wanna say, you had two lectures a week. So I miss, I really didn't study much for it the whole month of October. And then when it came time for test day or test week, I was, you know, I was kind of freaking out, but you know, I realized I needed help. And so I had to be humble, acknowledge that I couldn't do this on my own. And I told my cohort, you know, like, or at least some people in my cohort that uh, I, I was around somewhat frequently. It's like, hey, um, you know, like I'm really behind in this and, and I, and I I need help, you know? And so some of my classmates um, really took me under the wing and really helped me out. And I'm super thankful for that. And um, it really made me go back to the, the mentality that I used to have, you know, trying to get into school, which I feel like I really let slip this term. And so those two things combining with each other, um, I was able to really grind it out and I ended up doing well on that exam, but you know, it, I mean, I passed. I, I ended up with a GPA, the minimum GPA I needed for uh, something special, which I'll tell you guys about later. I mean, it all worked out in the end, but I'm still like really disappointed, you know? Like this term, I feel like it really lacked routine. Um, my habits were just really bad. And I think it's just an adjustment, you know? Like I think when I was trying to get into school, I had a chip on my shoulder. My focus was there and my discipline was there. But now what I was trying to prove to myself is that was kind of done with. And now all that, like all the hate I used to have has become like so much showering of praise and love and all that, I just eased off. And so I just need to do a better job of um, really setting the tone for myself, building that routine for myself, uh, reminding myself of, you know, like what you did to get here and all that. Um, and just put it to work, you know, build those good habits again that you used to have. And so that's why I've been doing this break. And so I feel, extremely excited about next term. And that's that's another reason why, like I haven't been able to put out YouTube videos, right? And that, it's not like that school is just too much, even though Helmuth was, was tough, but it was just the fact that I was so undisciplined. My habits were terrible, you know? Like I would waste a lot of time a day. And then the rest of the time that I did have was for studying. And so I really never had time to do what I actually wanted to do because I, I just wasted a lot of time. Uh, so, you know, that meant like not being able to talk to family as much, uh, not being able to talk to uh, peers as much, not being able to do my YouTube thing that I would love to do. And, you know, I felt like throughout the course of the semester, I really didn't get to feel like myself. And really just all comes down to me and just like being disciplined, doing what I need to do and, and um, putting myself in the right environment and mind frame. Um, but yeah, so that, that's kind of like the summary of my term. Oh, also there were practicals too. So this is my first time ever taking practical. Practicals are basically like tests, but like you're doing, it's not like a paper exam. It's like, show me you know how to do something. Okay, and for these, uh, your, your classmates are usually the patients and you're like in the uh, DPT's shoes and you got an instructor watching you and grading you. Now for some of these classes, it could be tough. Like PCM, 
patient care management first practical was about uh, transfers and bed mobility and so for that one you know the thing about practicals is if you get below 80 percent you fail the practical and you got to retake it but also like there's a bunch of safety fails or safety precautions that if you break it's an automatic fail and so on my first practical it's not that i didn't study for it but like i think the nerves kind of got me for some reason like i feel like i do well under pressure but something about practicals Maybe it's my first time ever doing practical or just the fact that somebody's just watching over you. I don't know what it is exactly, but it's, it's a little nerve wracking. It's definitely gotten better in, throughout the semester, but like that was definitely a nerve wracking time. Um, and yeah, I auto failed that, but really like it, it, it's not a big deal. You just gotta retake it and you know, practice a lot for it and you'll do better on the next one. It's not the end of the world if you have to retake a practical. Um, I think that's an important tip to remember um, going into first term. and going to my future terms you know like you never want to have to retake it but if you do you do you know it's okay and some of the differences that i'm going to try this term include you know from the morning setting myself up right i remember um when i was on the grind and trying to get back into school um or, or on my grind to to getting into dpt school you know every morning when i woke up i would start surrounding myself with things that were gonna put me in the right mindset whether that was like listening to listening to kobe gary v um listen to greg greg todd you know like all these influential people that i feel really uh that i really love and help keep my mind right so that's one of the things i'm trying to do and just integrate a morning routine this past this past term i really didn't get a workout and it's just bad bad time management bad discipline you know and these are these are habits like i said i've been working on this whole winter break and i'm just gonna bring them into school with me and it's gonna be good I'm, I'm i'm really excited about that all right so that was the last question of the video but before we sign off just a couple big announcements i'm recording a whole batch of videos right now and this whole next big playlist is going to be how to get into physical therapy school with a low gpa so be sure to stay subscribed because you don't want to miss that and also, if you like this video, make sure to smash that like button. All right, second announcement. I just wanna say I'm super thankful for all of you guys. Um, I know I didn't really get to do much with YouTube this term, and that was really just my fault and my uh, bad time management. But, um, you know, my goal, I guess, by the end of the, of the year was to get 150 subs, and we got really close, 145. And, you know, for not, for not having done much um, I'm truly really thankful to have seen the channel grow over time and I've just heard from a couple of you guys over IG over phone calls or whatever and um, it's, it's been incredible you know and let's keep this moving in 2020 and I'm just very grateful for you guys if you guys have any other questions um, about my first term of physical therapy school make sure to drop it down below that's where all the great discussion happens if you have that question chances are another pre PT does as well but that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much. I'm signing off. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Call me a king. I'm a hot with the pan. I'm out of here like I'm off with Japan.